Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at how you use Linux files on your Chromebook. So that's how you share your files, because when you've got your files on your Chromebook, that doesn't mean that them files are available to use with inside Linux. And obviously you need to have your files available inside Linux if you want to take advantage of the apps and the programs inside Linux. So we'll be looking at that, how you share files, the different ways you can share files, how you can do it with local files or how you can also do it with Google Drive files and also be looking at a file manager because installing a file manager if you just go into Linux you don't have a file manager so you don't know what files are inside Linux so we'll also be looking at installing a file manager so to do this you would first of all ideally need to have a Linux app store because it makes it easier to install the file manager if you don't have that then I have got a video and I'll put a link below and that will show you how to install a Linux file manager, a Linux app store, basically very similar to the Play Store. So if you want to do that first, click on the link below and follow that video first. So let's get to it then. Okay, so on here, if we go to there, the start menu, and Linux is there. This is the app store that I was referring to. So inside here, once you've got the app store, we want to install a file manager. Now there are different file managers available, but the file manager that I've installed, as you can see there's all these, but the file manager I've installed is this one here, files. And as you can see, it's got removed there, which shows that I've installed it. So that, that's the one I've installed. So that's what I'll be using in this video. And then if we go back to Linux apps, that's this one here, files. Okay, so first of all, the thing what you'd need to realize is once you're inside Linux, unless you've got a file manager, you're not gonna know what files are in there. So that's why you want the file manager, we'll open that up. And here you will see, let me just show you the Chrome OS one here as well. Okay. So what I've done is I'm just gonna try and show you, in here we've got Linux files, okay? And I've put in these files here, Linux picks. So because I've, I've literally, all I've done is got a folder, and what I'll do is go to the downloads folder, take a picture like that, copy, and so that's from my downloads folder, and I'm gonna copy that into Linux files on the Linux picks and paste that in there like that. So once you've done that, if you then go to your Linux file manager, you will see that that is available in Linux picks, as you can see there. That's the only one available in Linux because that's the one we've shared. Now the only issue with me doing it that way is I did copy it from here. So I didn't have to copy it, I could have just cut it from here and then put it into Linux picks. But that, you know, there is a risk that I could end up having duplicate files. I could have a file in here under Linux picks that I want to share with Linux. And then I could also have files in my downloads folder as well. So just to show you what it looks like if you was using GIMP as well. So if I was opening up GIMP, and that GIMP is um, an edit imaging software inside Linux. So if I opened up GIMP, and I wanted to open up an image, because I have shared that image under Linux files, under Linux picks, it's here, as you can see there. Linux picks and there it is available okay so it does make it easy that way however like I says it's not necessarily the best way of having to duplicate files so another way you could do it you could go into downloads and here I've got picks and I put another picture inside there and you could just right click on there and put share with Linux Okay, so that's now shared with Linux. However, that works differently to if you put it in the Linux files here. And I'll show you. So if you go back to your file manager, it's not going to be in Linux picks because that's only that one. So where is it? If you go to your home page, it's not there. Desktop, it's not there. It's in a slightly different place. 
So it's in file system, MNT, which I assume stands for mount. So you need to double click on that. And then it would be Chrome OS. And then my files, downloads, because that folder is in downloads and pics. And there's that image there. So that did seem a bit more long-winded to do it that way. But essentially all we was doing there was getting from that to there is this one here. So in a different file manager, different location, because this is MNT Chrome OS. So when you go into Chrome OS, that's one when you're inside Chrome OS here. So not Linux, my files, that's my files there. Downloads, it all goes into downloads and then picks, picks. So that's what it's doing. That's how it works that way. Now it may seem a bit more difficult to do, um, doing it that way, but what you can do, which I will show you in a second, is another way of doing it. Because you've only done the one image, you could instead share the whole of your downloads folder. So right click on downloads and put share with Linux. And then that, that has now shared your whole of your downloads folder with Linux. So if you go back here, go to file system, MNT, Chrome OS, my files, downloads, and then you'll see all of your files are inside Linux. Now the, the, the advantage of that is obviously is we're just looking at all of the files inside here. We're not having to move files to here. I think there's going to be advantages, disadvantages to both, but with this, there is a there is you do have to move files around if you want to use it inside Linux. So perhaps the best way is just to share your folder. And the good thing as well is obviously you shouldn't really be doing too much locally on your Chromebook, although you can do, but you've just got to be, be aware of the risks. So it's best to save it in the cloud. The good thing is you can also share your Google Drive as well. And that's as simple as going to your, fault, your um, file manager in Chrome OS. Let me just minimize that in case it's getting in the way. And then Google Drive. Again, you could share just one folder like that. Do share with Linux, you can do it that way. Or you can just share your whole drive. So Google Drive, share with Linux, give Linux app permission. So you need to be aware, obviously, you'd need to know what these apps you're installing, what they can and can't do, because they are getting access to your Google Drive. I think you'd be all right, just don't be sensible, know what you're installing, know what you're doing. Press OK. And that has now shared the whole of your Google Drive. If you're worried about doing that, like I says, you could just share a folder in Google Drive rather than just the whole thing. But then now you've done that, if you go back to your file system and MNT, Chrome OS, there you see you've got Google Drive as well. So my files is this here, my files, and Google Drive is your Google Drive. So You've now got access, and it goes into my drive, which is fine because that's up there. So you've now got access to all of your Google Drive files inside Linux as well. So it, it, it makes sense to do it that way, I would personally say, rather than put them in Linux files, because there is a bit of more having to copy things backwards and forwards, I think. Um, the one thing I would say though, if we have a quick look now, if we go to the image editor that I was using, if we go to file open, you'll see they are there. If you go to see computing, that Linux picks there, that's the, this one here, Linux files, Linux picks. But to get to the files that you've actually just shared rather than moving them over to that folder again it will be file system mnt chrome os and we got my files so that would be all of your download files 
your download folder. So I just have some water. <coughs> Get such a dry mouth when you're talking a lot. Okay, so that's that. Um, MMT, Chrome OS, My Files, and you've got Google Drive as well. My Drive. Now, it is a bit of a faff doing that. So the good thing is, even though this is GIMP, so it's a totally, it's an image editor. Let me just close GIMP down for a second. If we go back to the file manager, because it's a bit of a faff, what you can do is go to MMT, go to Chrome OS, uh, my files, that is your downloads folder there. Go to downloads, then right click, no, so just take off the right click, put on there, highlight it, download, then bookmarks, add bookmark. And what that does is put it there for you. So there you've got my files, bookmark. So it's done it to my files and then you have to go to downloads. I'll tell you why that's happened. Uh, remove, you have to be in the actual folder that you want to bookmark. So go into downloads and then bookmark and that's bookmarking this here. So go on to there, add bookmark and then you've got downloads so you can get to your downloads easily. And you can also do it with your Google Drive as well. So Google Drive, go into Google Drive, go into the My Drive, then bookmark there like that. And there you go. So you now got downloads there, which is your Chrome OS files, these files here. And you've also got My Drive, which is your Google Drive files, which is there. But the also the other good thing about this, and I assume this is just how Linux works. So I've not I've not used Linux much, if, if I'm being honest with you. Although we've done these bookmarks in this file manager, you would assume then bookmarks are just for that file manager, but maybe it's how Linux works. It actually then bookmarks are also now available when you open up GIMP as well, which is really good. So if you open up GIMP. And click on there and open up GIMP. When you go to file open, you can see your bookmarks are there, there as well. So it's not just in the file manager. So that's really good. I like that. So that's obviously your downloads, all, your, all of your files in your Chrome OS and my drive, all of your files in Google Drive. So yeah, so that, that's a really good way of knowing how to share your files, I think it is good to get a file manager. So I would recommend installing that file manager or you might want to try out the other file managers, see what they're like as well. But I hope that video has helped you to learn how to share files with Chrome, with between Chrome OS and Linux because they are separate, although it's all on the same computer. And also how you can look at your files more easily using a file manager in Linux. If it did, please like the video below and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.